Hi, Neil Campbell from Raywide at Gerringong with a November market update. In Gerringong in November, we saw six sales of residential properties, um, which compared to last year of 15 sales in November is a massive difference, and that's just an indication of how many properties are currently on the market here. Uh, of those six sales, they ranged in price from 559,000 up to uh, 800,000, um, which is a, a showing a very strong market. So just the three sales in Jeroa, um, again for this time of the year is very low um, and of those three sales we made two. Both those sales are a real indicator of the strength of the market at the moment. The first property at 74 Crooked River Road had been on the market previously for nearly 12 months and didn't sell. This time it was on the market for four weeks and sold for a million and sixty. 82 Crooked River Road was on the market previously for four months without selling, was on the market for one week and had an offer accepted at the full price that the vendor was asking. So that's a real indicator of the strength of the market out there. Just had the rural sales for November uh, in our office, so that combined with the six residential sales at this point in time, with just a couple of days to go, is a good indicator of how things are going. Rural listings have been very, very scarce. It's probably the scarcest uh, as far as numbers of rural listings on the market currently. Normally spring and autumn are the best times for listing or the most prolific times for listing rural property. That has not been the case this year. It's definitely the least number of rural listings on the market and due to the good number of sales in the last six months, listings are very low. Not just in this local area but really in the whole Illawarra and down into the Shilhaven. Hopefully that will change in the new year. We are doing a good number of appraisals at the moment but for this time of the year it is very, very low. Uh, on top of that, we've got uh, two auctions coming up uh, at this stage. Uh, we've got an auction this Wednesday night, which is the old black blacksmith's cottage down at 158 Fern Street. That's on a 963 square metre block with a uh, high density zoning, so that's a good little property. And the only other auction we've got coming up at this stage is not until 2015, our first auction for next year, which will be on the 4th of February. And that's a very nice three bedroom townhouse in Croft Place. One of the most often asked questions is about uh, rural properties and can you build a second dwelling on a rural property? Uh, that has been one of the first questions people ask with some, particularly in some of your larger properties. The fact is now in Kiama, in the Kiama municipality, uh, since their new LEP came out in 2011, it does allow for a second dwelling on a rural property. There are a number of conditions around that. We have had clients here build second homes on some of the rural properties in, in your environmental zonings. Uh, and properties down in size to about seven hectares. You still can't get a second dwelling on a rural property in the Shilhaven. That hasn't changed with their new LEP, which came out in April of this year. So that's it for November. We look forward to talking to you in December with Christmas on the doorstep. Thank you.